Hi, I'm Captain Rod. Welcome back on the water. Today we're in Weldon, North Carolina, known as the rockfish capital of the world. And for about six weeks in the springtime, it's got every right to that title. Spawning striped bass from the ocean come here for about six weeks in the spring to make babies. And while they're here, you can literally catch a hundred fish a day. It's one of the best fisheries in North Carolina and really on the East Coast. And that's no accident. When I started fishing here in the early 90s, this was a depleted fishery. There were almost no fish left here. And through the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission's work, this, this fishery has been reborn. One of the ways they do that is through tagging fish. And today we were lucky enough to ride along with the Electra fishing boat to watch North Carolina Wildlife Resources shock and North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries tag and release these big fish. Let's take a look at how it works. Today we're at the historic Weldon, uh, rockfish capital of the world. Uh, Spawning striped bass is the name of the game. And uh, we're working with North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, uh, North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries, and NC State University tagging fish, tagging striped bass on their spawning grounds. Uh, sampling is uh, conducted uh, to collect the fish with electrofishing, a boat electrofishing boat, where the fish are stunned, uh, brought into the boat, and uh, then brought back to a workup uh, vessel uh, where tags, uh, where the fish are tagged, measured, weighed, uh, scales taken for age, and um, uh, other research that may be going on at that particular time. And uh, in those shocking boats, uh, when they're out sampling, there could be pods of fish underneath. And uh, at times, uh, the whole water will bubble up with white uh, of the striped bass bellies. And some of those bellies are quite large. Uh, today, uh, in one run, which can be just literally seconds on the pedal, uh, we have 40 pound stripers uh, in the boat, actually collected nine of them in one small pod, uh, which we think they all kind of stage together, those large females stage together, wait for the evening until there's a spawning opportunity or rock fights as they're known. And uh, the males come, come find them as well. And as the males, as the females rise to the top, the males all congregate together and begin the dance. And uh, so that usually happens around evening, evening time. And if you get out here during that time frame, it's really neat to just ride along and, and see that splashing going on on the spawning grounds here at Weldon. As an angler, the main thing you need to be aware of is that there's several different kinds of tags being used here. Some you can see and some you can't. So let's find out from Charlton from Division of Marine Fisheries about the differences in these tags. So I'm a, a fisheries biologist with the North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries and we have had a, a long-term tagging program going on with striped bass in the Albemarle Sound Roanoke River um, since about the early 80s. Uh, so we'll implant these uh, yellow anchor tags inside of striped bass that we tag here on the spawning grounds um, as well as in the Albemarle Sound. The information uh, from returned tags when an angler uh, catches a tag and he uh, calls us up with that tag number. We learn information about migration, um, seasonal habitat use, where these fish are, are spending their summers and where they're spending their winters, and as well as um, different migration and habitat use uh, from different size fish. So the smaller fish, uh, up to 18 or 22 inches, will be using a different habitat than some of our larger fish. You wouldn't believe how far some of these large fish uh, migrate back to get back to the spawning grounds each year. Uh, some of the, the larger fish in the population uh, will migrate out in the ocean um, and they'll go as far north as New York, New Jersey. Um, they'll spend the winter months um, up there uh, with the coastal migratory stock and then they'll migrate back down in, in, the, in the spring um, to, the, to North Carolina to their spawning ground here in Weldon. If you catch a fish with a yellow tag, you just clip the tag right at the surface of the fish and you mail that into a PBO box that is actually on the tag and you get a free hat. Now if you catch a fish with a red tag, the prize is a lot bigger, it's $100. Let's see how that works. So this is a sonic tag, this is a pit tag, and this is the high reward internal anchor tag. Um, each of the fish that gets one of these sonic tags also gets a high reward internal anchor tag. So this red tag is worth $100 if you catch one. So if you catch one, call it in. Um, if a fish is uh, harvested, you can call it in. If a fish is caught and you release the fish, just please clip the tag at the, at the fish and you can call in the tag and still get your $100 reward. And then we can learn about um, mortality for these fish, but also about catch and release and whether or not 
catch and release affects their behavior. North Carolina Wildlife Resources, along with North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries, has provided us with a just unbelievably great place to fish here in North Carolina. We're right in the northeast corner of the state. Actually, it's the last exit before the Virginia border on I-95. If you want more information, you can contact the City of Weldon or Halifax County Tourism. If you're a fisherman, you need to be here in the spring. It's absolutely heaven. I'm Captain Rod. See you on the water.